you know, a couple of weeks ago, I got me a new drum head for my bass head here. And the brand is Aquarius. Which reminded me of an old tune, something like Aquarius, uh, when the moon is in the seventh house and you're on your knees and you're too drunk and you get sick and you start barfing. No, never mind, that's, that's not the song. Something like, let the sun shine in. Well, that song kind of led me to where I'm at here. Anyway, it ties in anyway. And this great song called Up Up in Hawaii. Yeah, that's right. Up Up in Hawaii. Because everyone goes to Hawaii to get high, don't they? Actually, the word Hawaii sounds like high, don't it? In any case, there's this great song by the Fifth Dimension called Up Up in Hawaii. And, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, well who's this? Yeah, this is a comedy drama, yeah. What's your major malfunction? It's not Hawaii. It's not. It's not up up in Hawaii. What? You're pulling me leg. It's not. It ain't got nothing to do with Hawaii. It ain't got nothing to do with getting high. Well, it's got anything to do with sex. Oh, I just thought I'd ask. No, I'm not an old pervert. Look here, you little bastard. Oh, who is this? Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, oh, uh, you actually, uh, you actually wrote the song. Oh, who is this? Uh, Jimmy who? Ah, never mind. These phony cranks. I'm the real deal. Okay, let's get down to it. Some say it was the greatest song in history, the greatest pop song in history. It's called Up Up and Away, of course, what I'm talking about, by the Fifth Dimension. And in any case, they were great singers. Uh, a song written by a Jimmy Webb, who wrote countless hits. You can look it up. I don't have time to recite all the hits. And so we're going to get right to the point. And you might ask, why, coming to drama, are you doing this bit about the Fifth Dimension and Jimmy Webb and Up Up and... Well, it's a great song. But here's the greatest part of the story. The drummer behind this music by the name of Hal Blaine. And this is actually a tribute to Hal Blaine and his great drumming on countless rock and roll songs, pop songs mostly, but nonetheless, he's a great player. The backbone of many, many of the old hits from the 60s and 70s and to show my deep appreciation, and as I've said before, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, I will play a little of my own version of Up Up In A Way drumming for my audience and the world to see and share uh, if they'd like. And uh, in any case, uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a comedy drama doing a little playing of uh, what I might have played if I had been asked to play the drums on Up Up in a way. And again, this is, uh, this is really just a tribute, you know, to the oldies. Uh, in particular, a fellow named Hal Blaine who played most of the drums on most of the Oldie hits from the 60s and the 70s, and if you don't believe me, look it up there on your, uh, your Wikipedia or what have you. And in any case, uh, without further ado, uh, enjoy, and uh, to the audience out there, uh, <laughs> nice to see you guys again. Adios, and uh, we'll be seeing you in the near future. All right, bye-bye.